Hello, this is Jamie from randomizeuser.com with a How to Survive 2 Beginner's Guide on how to make basic bows, arrows, guns and ammo. To make full use of this guide, make sure you've completed the first few missions up to at least a whiff of gunpowder. You should also have built your trunk to start off your camp, which the early quests guide you into doing. To craft weapons, you'll need to build an armoury in your camp. You'll need some wooden boards, sheet metal, rope, nails and a hammer. You can find most of this on early quests around town, and there are nails in the bunker and rope in the swamp. So this is my armoury. I've upgraded mine to level 9, but when you first build it, it'll be level 1 and you won't see so many recipes. And this is because you only see recipes from the armoury's current level and below in the armoury crafting screen, although any recipes from the next level will appear in red to let you know what's to come. To get more powerful recipes, you need to upgrade the level. This requires scavenging more sheet metal, nails and a hammer from around town. Then open the armoury and press the upgrade button. As you see here, it doesn't appear if you don't have enough material. Be warned, like all camp buildings, you can't upgrade the armoury beyond the current camp level, and increasing the camp level requires an increasing amount of XP, so don't expect a powerful weapon until you've killed a lot of zombies. And do note that you'll be able to craft basic bows without an armoury, and guns with a fairly low level armoury which gives you a chance to play around with the basic weapons to find out which you're most comfortable with. So let's finally do some crafting. Firstly we'll look at bows, then arrows, then crossbows, then the guns and ammo. Bows. You've probably already got or crafted a silencer bow, which can be crafted from the start of the game using a bit of cloth, a stick and some nylon thread. If you're out of thread, there's usually some lying around in the bunker. The harder part here is crafting the arrows, which we'll get onto shortly. Like all ranged weapons, using a bow is a case of aiming until you see the red beam, then firing. You'll do most damage when the targeting arrow is in the yellow section. Some weapons, including the bow, allow you to hold down the trigger button and you'll just keep on firing. If you want a more damaging bow, called the protector, you'll have to wait until you've upgraded your camp, armoury and character, by which point all the zombies will have become harder anyway. And this is the upgrading treadmill for all weapons, which you'll need to get used to. Upgrading is not an option, it's a necessity. Arrows. Ok, to make arrows you'll need a machete, which will always spawn somewhere in this small room at the left of the bunker. Once you have your machete, you can craft a set of basic arrows using either one large piece of wood or six sticks, both of which can be easily found around camp and in the swamp. And basic arrows offer 20 damage per shot, but by adding extra crafting materials you can make more powerful arrows that do extra damage. Fletched arrows require a feather and increase the arrow's shot penetration. Feathers can be found by killing the spitting pelican zombies that begin to appear after the first few missions. Silex tipped arrows require a shard of flint and increase the arrow's stopping power. Shards of flint can seem difficult to find at first, but if you check out the quarry areas in the camp region, you should find a few. The most powerful arrows are a combination of the two. Fletched, silex tipped arrows are good for a total of 35 damage. Be aware that arrows can be retrieved once shot, so if you kill a zombie with arrows, don't forget to loot the corpse afterwards. Crossbows. Crossbows are something to bear in mind as the first most powerful alternative to your level 1 bow. The basic one, the needle thrower, requires wood, rope, aluminium cans, nails, a copper stirrup and a hammer. It also needs a level 4 character and armoury. To use the crossbow, you'll also need to craft some bolts, which have the same crafting recipes as arrows. Crossbow bolts, like arrows, can be retrieved after shooting. Guns and ammo. Early on, the game prods you towards getting a gun, but truth be told, you'll find melee will deal with almost everything until you start to get to quests of about level 8 or above. The only early quest where using melee isn't ideal is the Deer Kovac quest. Also, be aware that firing guns makes a lot of noise and attracts zombies very quickly, so get your target practice in somewhere safe so you don't get overwhelmed. That in mind, a pistol is a good way of learning how guns work and you can find free ammo for it too. To make the Ambassador, you'll need to make sure that both you and the Armoury have been upgraded at least once. The recipe requires large wood, aluminium tube, steel springs, aluminium cans, nails and a hammer, all of which can be found on the most basic quests around town. The ammo for the Ambassador is 8mm. You can craft this using aluminium tube, lead pellets and gunpowder, all of which can be found on the Whiff of Gunpowder mission. 
You should also be able to find an easy box of 50 in the machete room in the bunker. Now, the ambassador is fairly effective against lower level zombies, but they're no magic bullet. So you may want to use the Judge Lever Action Rifle instead, which is also a level 2 weapon, but it'll hurt zombies more. This gun requires 10mm ammo, which is crafted using the same recipe as the 8mm, but it cannot be found freely in the bunker. Guns aim in the same way as bows. Just aim until you get a lock, then press shoot. Once you've climbed a few levels, you'll want to replace your level 2 weapon. The next pistol up requires a hefty level 8, so consider moving across to one of the other types of gun. You could try the level 5 Peacemaker Revolver if you're after a single shot weapon. This requires different crafting materials scavenged from town, some of which are a little rarer, so you may need to make multiple trips to town to find them. If you want a gun where you can just hold the trigger and spray bullets, the level 6 Old Tommy Gun is worth crafting. The only difficulty here is that one of the crafting materials is a lead bar, which itself needs to be crafted at a camp building called the Foundry. The Foundry has fairly similar crafting requirements to the Armoury, plus paving stones. Again, can be found around town. Once at the foundry, you can forge a bar from several different kinds of lead, including those figurines you keep finding and don't know what to do with. The old Tommy, being an automatic weapon, is a lot of fun to use, but it will eat up your 8mm bullets if you're not careful. Melee Finally, a quick word about melee weapons. If you bought the game within the first month of it going on sale, you'll automatically have a guitar melee weapon you can use once your character is level 5. If not, you should get your armoury up to level 3 as soon as you can, and make a bone breaker sledgehammer. This requires a stick, a big bit of wood, a screwdriver, and an engine housing. You should be able to find one engine housing on an upper floor somewhere in the Whiff of Gunpowder mission. Remember, each time your character levels up and you unlock more powerful weapons, the zombies get tougher, so your weapons will go obsolete quite quickly and need upgrading. Not just melee weapons, but everything. And don't forget armour. Right, so the information in this guide is correct from early November 2015, but as ever with early access, please remember that the devs might change the various requirements and recipes mentioned in this video. Since beginning this video, they've already changed the feather requirements for arrows from two feathers to one, so stay vigilant! And if you want more tips on how to get going with How to Survive 2, check out our other tutorial videos, which contains a lot of stuff about effective melee fighting, where to find basic items, and what early skills to upgrade. So thanks for watching, this has been Jamie from randomizeuser.com. Subscribe for more videos on how to survive too, and a lot more besides. And I'll see you next time, bye bye.